Good morning, everyone. Um, I think I told everyone about my dream of heaven and earth passing away and a new heaven and earth coming in a previous video. This video is about a dream that I had uh, the night before last. And it was quite interesting. I think it was the night before last, a few nights ago. And I had prayed that I could see Jesus' face. I asked to see his face. And I was with some Christian women, and because Friday night I was fellowshipping with a sister in Christ who had fallen a, away and is returning to God now, praise Jesus. Um, and the, that night I had the dream, and I was with women, and we were praying and talking and fellowshipping. Um, and then all of a sudden I see this face and it was Jesus' face. It wasn't exactly like the pictures we see. It was a little different. It wasn't as wasn't as beautiful. His face wasn't as beautiful. To me, it was beautiful because his face is beautiful. But it wasn't as perfect as the pictures show. I'm sure he's more beautiful than we can imagine in his true state. <laughs> and I can't wait to look upon him in his true state. But he, uh, he flashed before me and then... I saw this light that he had in his hand, this bright light. It was like um, just beautiful. And he took it and he put it in my chest, like not, not right, like in my heart, in my stomach, in my, kind of like just in my, my core. And it was a beautiful thing. I, I just can't imagine, you know, describing how how it was um and so and i i have the word in me and i believe the word is is with me and the word is jesus he's with me all the time he will never leave me nor forsake me and today i am supposed to read 42 6 which is i the uh, six and seven I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So, and that's what that we're supposed to sing unto the Lord, a new song, and pray his praise um, from the ends of the earth. Um, so what he kind of showed me is, you know, his glory is his. His is, everything is his. We're not to have any images or um, any wood or gold or any of that stuff made into images you know those are part of the elements of the earth we're not to mess with them which is magic and make images for ourselves to worship or our own worship the works of our own hands and the light that he gives is to open the eyes and it's his spirit that comes and moves the word and moves us to the truth it is truth and they are he, he is a true witness um, and he comes and he delivers the truth to the people so that they can come out of the prison cells what are the prison cells well I had a dream let's see of people on earth like zombies you know they were just not fully awake they were they were asleep they were sleeping they were like zombies and I was trying to wake them up and then another dream I had um, they were being swallowed by the serpent and these dreams you can find on my YouTube channel one dream I had you know man was being swallowed whole by a serpent now I think that this is happening in a different realm than what our realm is. We live in the space-time continuum in, in Earth. That's why we have a shadow. I'm going to show you my shadow. There's my shadow. The flesh, the flesh, this flesh has a shadow. The flesh is dead. 
those who are in Christ. They're alive in Christ. Their flesh is dead. The sin and the flesh died with Jesus on the cross, on the wood, on the, on the tree. And we are alive in him. He is the re resurrection and the life. And although we walk in this dark place that we wouldn't, that we wouldn't be able to see anything if we didn't have the sun that God gave us so that we have light. Um, it reflects from our eyes and the whole eye thing is really amazing how the eye works. Um, but God showed me, the sun shall no, be no more thy light by day, neither for the brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy glory and thy God thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the, the days of thy mourning shall be ended. You know, the sun in Revelation, it talks about the sun is going to burn us, and that he's going to have to heal our wounds. So don't be afraid whenever the sun starts shooting off rays, and or whatever it is, electrical, because it's supposedly is electric and not nuclear, nuclear like they've been brainwashing us to think. And that's part of the prison cell that we live in. The world is, is being ran by, uh, you know, people who control and brainwash the whole world. And the whole world follows after a lie, a deception, it says in the scriptures. The deceiver, the serpent, who speaks with a forked tongue, which means is what a serpent has, is a forked tongue. So anyways, in Isaiah 60, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. So remember that. Arise and shine, for thy Lord is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. I pray the blood of Christ over this video, and I bless all of you who are watching. I pray that the spirits would be driven away with the presence of the Lord.